Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Now You're Cooking, broadcasting live from the culinary caverns of Mr. Lee's Kitchen, right here every weekday morning on AM 1400 KSHP. Stay tuned for delicious recipes, international cuisine, and culinary masterpieces directly from Mr. Lee's own kitchen. Now You're Cooking is brought to you by Off The Wall Media in association with Lemonade Productions. And now, your hosts, Lou Angel, alongside Master Chef, Mr. Lee. That's me. Hey, Mr. Lee, what's cooking? What's cooking? We got all kinds of things cooking today. I'm going to make you a great big salad. I'm going to make you some chicken parmesan. Of course, we're going to have a little appy before we start. I'll tell you what to make the drink with it. And then we're going to have some nice, luscious dessert. Okay, folks, you heard it. It's chow time. You're welcome to join us live on air. The call in line is 221 Pate. That's right. 221 P A T E. Hey, now you're cooking. One thing I'd like to say before the show starts is that since we walked in here about two and a half minutes ago, I need to say a big thank you to Frank, who's listening, who is the cab driver, one of Las Vegas finest finest cab drivers frank thanks for getting us here on time frank's going to open a catering business we found out so you may be even hearing from him more later he should be listening in then absolutely rattle them pots and pans frank we'll help him out and watch out for that crazy las vegas traffic oh yeah i mean you're not out there 10 minutes and you're already grateful that you've lived that long if i came out here at two in the morning i'd be here at 10 minutes it takes me half an hour to get here it's crazy, everybody, but you know what? I see how you're driving today, and I like to remind you to just take a breath. Okay, we're going to try and get through this together. Everybody say love. We want you to, uh, you know, maybe chill a little bit, take a look around. There's not much you can do about it. Just say no to road rage. <laughs> We've got some good food cooking for you here in Mr. Lee's mm. kitchen. If you have any questions about chow, you know, recipes, secret ingredients. We love to hear from you. 221 Pate, P A T E. Thank you, Frank. And the great stuff today is everything is going to be on sale. Well, not everything, but most of the stuff is going to be on sale. You can get that through your value page on the internet. Don't forget to look that up. And you can go to Lucky's or Price Right or Smith's and get most of this stuff on sale. So you can save yourself a couple dollars and have yourself a great meal at the same time. Uh, if you go to Lucky this week, you can save $52.90, which is pretty cool. And you get your web bucks, so you can go and buy anything you want later on. At Price Right, you can save $45.70, and you still get your web bucks and buy anything you want. And at Smith, you get to save $55.70. And don't forget those web bucks. If you would like to print out valuepage.com and go through the recipes and the web pages that you've printed out with Mr. Lee, go right now to valuepage.com, valuepage.com, and you'll be able to enter your zip code, call up these items, and then incorporate those with the recipes Mr. Lee is going to bring. So get your tape recorders ready, print out your web pages, and uh, we'll go to a little food for thought while you're getting all that ready. C is for cataracts. A minimum of 10 years of vitamin C supplementation was associated with an approximately 80% decreased prevalence of early cataracts in 247 women in the ongoing Harvard Nurses Health Study. Do as I say. According to a survey from the American Dietetic Association, nearly eight out of ten, eight out of ten Americans believe that nutrition is important to your health. You know, that's one of the reasons why we're doing this, because it does matter to you. Yet, only four out of ten are doing all they can to eat well. So now we have a problem. We've got to get four of you to actually do something about it. You know, I'm one of those four. And I'm going to make an effort to learn some of this stuff and use it in my life. Hopefully, if we can help you out or if you need some information on something, just ask. Maybe we can help. Supplement happy. The four of you that are doing something about your diet are overdoing it. 40% of women now believe they need supplements to improve their health. 
compared to 35% in 1995. And the National Runner's Health Study finds that men who ran 45 miles and drank more than six ounces of alcohol a week were five times more likely to have high, good cholesterol levels than non-drinkers who ran less than 15 miles a week. That would be me. Keep running. Uh, running? What yeah. is that? Keep running. That's, That's when sort you can of get like what we did this morning. When you get your big butt on the <laughs> oh, treadmill. The <laughs> going from my car to the taxi cab. Was <laughs> that, that, that wouldn't was be getting up to the refrigerator to get well, a beer. That it's a count. start. <laughs> Well, that's kind of a trot, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a trot more than a run. <laughs> We've got some other news that's good for people who uh, can't understand why they're a little heavier than they should be. If you're having trouble sleeping, that could add weight to you. Sufferers of sleep apnea, repetitive episodes of impaired breathing that interfere with sleep, are increased risk for hypertension. That should be enough reason for them to seek help. But a new study finds yet another incentive. Treating sleep apnea helps people lose weight. Researchers at Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. recruited 46 sleep apnea patients scheduled to be treated with continuous airway pressure, a technique in which air from a small generator is conveyed to a mass fitted over the sleeping patient's nose. The researchers compared weight changes in the patients who complied with this regimen consistently with those who did not. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Is that you know, why I'm so fat? If you sleep better, you feel better, you move better. And you have to exercise to sleep better, right? There you go. So that's the whole key. That's our show for today. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank Eat you right, all for coming. Right. <laughs> all right. But you know what? If it was that easy, we wouldn't have to talk about it. We wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, just take care of yourself. That's what you got to do. Absolutely. Well, we're going to pick up the tempo here. We're going to rattle some pots and pans. We've got anything sitting on a Ritz. Looks Ooh. good. So uh, Even me? If you like that little crunch in your mouth, you'll love this. Hit it, Mr. Lee. All right. This now you're cooking. I'm cooking. We're going to start out with some hors d'oeuvres. That's the perfect way to start any meal, isn't it? Or if you just want to have a couple people you around and feed them. <laughs> this is a great thing you can do. And this is so easy because it's all on sale. Don't forget to get your value page today. And if you do, you can get either Ritz or Triscuits on sale this week. So that's pretty cool. You know, you can't complain about it, that. Anything that's on sale, I'm there. How about you? I know people that live by these coupons. You can save so much money. Why I not bother? I never would have thought it was such an integral part of somebody's lifestyle. But I know people who were suicidal after Vons d quit doubling. Your okay. daughter. <laughs> Your daughter's the coupon queen. You know, that girl is the queen because she was saving about $70 a week. She's amazing. You know how huge that is? Yeah. Everything she gets either gets a free giveaway or a coupon or something. It's tremendous. It turned into a show. <laughs> So if you're going to buy your Ritz crackers, you're going to get 25 cents in web bucks. If you're going to get Triscuits, you get 40 cents in web bucks. So it just depends on what you like. So buy either one of those. And then you put on top of it a package of Land O'Lakes spread with sweet cream. That stuff's really good. They have all different varieties. And you get 50 cents in web bucks on that. So you've already saved yourself a buck. What the heck? Let's go for it. Get my cab fare back. Yeah, and all you do is <laughs> if you want to get... It's going to take more than a dollar to get your cab fare back. <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can pipe it onto the crackers. I don't know if it, most of you have piping bags, but you can buy them in any store that sells cake decorating equipment and that kind of thing. And you could just scoop it out of the um, bin and put it into the bag and then pipe it on in a fancy schmancy way. If you don't want to do that, just spread it on with a well knife. Now, wait a minute. Suppose I did want a piping <laughs> bag. <laughs> Of course, you know I have a I piping know. bag with about 20 you different attachments. You probably have one in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> I carry it with but me. You never know when you might need a piping bag. Just suppose I was so inclined, I felt like giving something a little squeeze, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> I also have something Where in my bag for that, one? but that's another issue. <laughs> Where would I get one? You can get one at any cake supply store. A place like um, Glee's, they have all kinds of cake supplies um, and Thank specialty you. pans. <laughs> Just go there. It's not a big deal. And they have replacement bags. You just throw them away. And it's not very expensive. A pack of bags is only a couple dollars. That sounds like something you'd want to send to your husband to the store for. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I can see you spending spider to the store. Yeah, yeah. Go get me some piping bags. <laughs> huh? Oh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get what? <laughs> you know, they're right next to the tampon. <laughs> yeah. Get what? those while you're there, too. <laughs> Men love to shop for that stuff. Me. 
<laughs> and don't forget to get the douches while you're there as well. It's, okay, we'll make a whole, wait a minute. We'll now. make an evening of it. Actually, you could use the bag for piping. Uh, let's not go there. Anyway, so not you at the table. <laughs> <laughs> not first thing in the morning. So you've got your crackers and you've got your spread, your Lando Lake spread, and you don't really have to add anything to it. So you either pipe it onto your crackers or you can just spread it on there with a knife if you're not inclined to use a piping bag. <laughs> then you top it with whatever you want. That's the coolest part. Now you can use roasted red bell peppers. I know you love those. I love them. Yep. And you can get those in the jar. So you, I mean, this is basically no work kind of thing. You can get them at Siena Deli too. Oh yeah. Oh or you can God. make them yourself. If you want to make them yourself. Yeah. Tell me how to pickle those suckers. All you've got to do, it's not, you know, it's so easy. You take a bell pepper and you can either put it over the open flame on your, um, on your gas range, or you can do it on a barbecue and just do it until it gets black. And I know it looks like it's burned, but it's really not because then you put it in a bowl, put another plate over top of it or plastic wrap over the top of it, and it'll steam for maybe 10 minutes so it's cool enough to handle. Then you just peel all that stuff off, and what you've got is a roasted pepper, and you get all that good essence from the roasting and the, all that stuff going. Mm. So then take it and don't rinse it. Whatever you do, don't rinse it because all those juices and everything, are that's the flavor. Gotcha. And sit then, that on your ritz. <laughs> yeah, sit that on your ritz. So then you can take that and put it in a big jar in your refrigerator with olive oil. It'll probably keep a week or two. I wouldn't keep it more than two weeks. It may, but I wouldn't trust it. So, you know, if you want to do all that, you can do all that. But, but the ones you buy in the store are just fine. And you can slice them up into thinner strips and they come. And then put them on top of the spread and your Ritz or Triscuit. Or you could do avocado slices. We did the avocado mm -hmm. thing yesterday, so that's, you know, they're really in season now, so that's great. I know I'm ready to make that shake that Addie told us about. <laughs> yeah, sounded good, didn't it? Then you could, or you could do smoked salmon, and you can buy that in the store. It's readily available, and sli just slice it thinly, so you don't have to spend a fortune. You're just talking about thin little slices to accent the cheese that's on top, the cream cheese stuff that's on top. And then you top that with a little sliced green onion. You can use the green part. You never know what to do with that green part, right? Mm-hmm. You get rid of it, just toss it away. Don't and toss it's so it away. Festive. It's very festive. <laughs> and if you slice it thinly and put it in ice water in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, it'll curl up real cute, and it looks very, very festive. So or you can see so me doing this. Um, I'll make put you those knives away, will you? Don't be looking at me like that when you're sharpening those knives. Or you can uh, do put some chives on top. That's always nice. Um, a lot of people put capers. If you like capers, they're you know what capers are, right? I do now. You do now. You had it <laughs> the other day. We went to breakfast and she's what are capers anyway? I was playing stump the chef. <laughs> yeah, you're playing stump the chef. Well, what capers are? Are oh, wait, wait, wait. If anybody knows what capers are. Hey, there you go. If you know what capers are, call in and tell me. And we'll buy you a jar. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 221. On the house. And if you don't, I'll tell you later. 221-7283. 221-7283. think yesterday we kept That's giving out the wrong number. Oh, that was yesterday. Okay. Today, I got it right. And what's different about today than yesterday? It still spells It's Tuesday. Today. We got here in under two minutes. <laughs> Oh. There's always something to be grateful for. You've okay, done a lot we're going to wait for you minutes. to call in, 221 Pate, <laughs> and Thank we're going to take a little break here and give you all a chance to grab your pens and papers and uh, write down some of these recipes because we want you to love everything that goes in your mouth today. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Roxanne with K-Shop. If you would like information on our radio shopping show, how it works and when it's on, call our information line at 257-SHOP. That's 257-7467. It's full of details about our wonderful radio shopping show that saves you up to 60% and more on local businesses. If you've never shopped on the radio shopping show, leave your name, address, and phone number on the voicemail, and I'll send you a kit with even more information. 257-SHOP. Get the latest sports information just prior to kickoff every weekend with the Weekend Sports Page, hosted by Dave Arnone. Dave will be broadcasting live every Saturday and Sunday morning, live from the Wild Wild West Sportsbook, located on Tropicana near I-15. Go on down, see Dave, make your bets, and check out the Wild Wild West. They don't call it the best little casino in Las Vegas for nothing. Broadcasting live, the Weekend Sports Page, every Saturday and Sunday morning from 8 to 9 a.m. at the Wild Wild West. Touchdown! 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 Denver! A 
AM1400 and Screwballs are giving you a chance to win $10,000 in cash. During the 1998 Denver Bronco football season, Screwballs, of course, is your home for Denver Bronco football, located at 2460 West Warm Springs near the Las Vegas Strip. All you've got to do to win ten grand is register to win at Screwballs. Go there prior to every Denver Bronco football game, predict the halftime and final score of that week's game, and you could win $10,000 in cash. We will be broadcasting live one hour prior to every Denver Bronco football game here on AM 1400. Go to Screwballs, watch the game, and win $10,000. Screwballs will have great prizes every week, plus a free halftime buffet. Your home for the Denver Broncos is Screwballs, located at 2460 West Warm Springs, near the Las Vegas Strip. Go there, register to win $10,000 in cash, courtesy of Screwballs and AM1400. Welcome to the pages of Eating Well Magazine primary source of health and nutrition news featured on Now You're Cooking. Eating Well magazine is available to advise, educate, and guide us through the maze of food claims and chaos. You will love the health information, articles, and wonderful recipes along with its balance of imagination, good taste, and sound nutrition. Eating Well is yours by simply calling 1-800-678-0541. You can also visit their website, eatingwell.com. There is so much information to digest inside each issue of Eating Well. We think you might have to save room for dessert. Call Eating Well magazine, and for less than $2 a month, you too will eat like a king. That's 1-800-678-0541, 678-0541. You know you can earn up to $52.90 at Lucky's this week in Lucky Web Bucks just by going to valuepage.com, V-A-L-U. P-A-G-E.com. Web books are issued by the checkout coupon printer. No memberships, no fees. All you need is to access the internet. And valuepage.com is at your service. Are you tired of having to make a special trip for the Sunday paper just to clip the grocery coupons? Value Page is here for you, Las Vegas. V-A-L-U Page. And now, back to Now You're Cooking. I'm Lou Angel with <laughs> Mr. Lee, the uh, finer chefs in Las Vegas. Oh, my God. Do you have any questions about fixing uh, dinner, lunch, breakfast, like food that comes straight from your imagination? I tell you, this man here is at your service. 221 PATE 7283. What's cooking, Mr. Lee? All right, we're going to finish up our little appies here. Now, the other cool thing is right now they have Alpine Lace for your web bucks. You get 35 cents in web bucks if you get any Alpine Lace cheese product. And they're low fat cheese. They're the only one that's pretty good. Some of them are not so good, but theirs is pretty good. So you just stick that on a cracker, and anybody can do that. Everybody loves cheese and crackers, right? You know, I have never bought one of those fat free, free cheeses. They're good. The Alpine Lace is very good. Wait a minute. There's such thing as fat free cheeses? Yeah, I know you wouldn't know anything about that. I never feed it. Have you given me any of that? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no comment. I'm afraid to try them, but I will try this one now because he said so. All right, so here's the other thing we can do. Since today we're doing an Italian theme after we get through this whole cracker deal, we're going to do Hormel Turkey Pepperoni. That's on sale right now. You can get your web bucks. And um, just take a slice of the pepperoni, put it on a cracker, and take a peel of Parmesan cheese. Buy a big block of Parmesan cheese, take either a sharp knife or your vegetable peeler, and put a little peel of it, and it'll kind of curl up and look pretty, and put that on there. That's a great little appetizer, too. And all your friends will think you're brilliant. I know, and I've got to say that anybody that would curl their cheese <laughs> at this time of the morning... Well, I don't have to curl my hair, so I may as well curl my me. cheese. You've got me for life, honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now you've shut them up. You've got them a cocktail and a, a little appetizer. And I would serve some Valpolicella or Bartolino wine. Remember, mm-hmm. we, we sort of forgotten about that, and then yes. we rediscovered it recently. I'll take one in each hand. Yeah, I one love both of them. Yeah, one in each hand. That's always great. So give them a little glass of wine and you know one of these appetizers, and that gets them going while you're finishing up dinner. Now, to start out dinner, I thought we'd do this salad. We had this at my party the other night. This was delicious. This was, yeah, it was gone before you could say hello. If you love salad and you need a change, you will like this. Yeah, this is the dressing that makes this salad. 
Mm, okay. Hungry I now. call it my BLT salad. Mm, see, I know I like this stuff. Yeah, this is fabulous. So what you do is you take a head of romaine lettuce and wash it and tear it up. And remember, you always tear your lettuce. Don't cut it. I can give God forbid. God forbid. Because <laughs> the salad police. <laughs> I, like to, I like to use the blender a lot. <laughs> Then you're going to have gazpacho or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's a different thing. <laughs> we'll do gazpacho another day. <laughs> so what you need is one head of romaine lettuce, and you wash it and tear it up. If you cut it up, it doesn't look as good for one thing, and the <coughs> knife sometimes will discolor the lettuce if it sits around for a few minutes. So that's why you tear it instead of cut it. You'll need two medium tomatoes. And we talked yesterday about how great tomatoes are right now. Or you can use one of those little pints of cherry tomatoes if they're on sale. There you, know. you go. Because sometimes they're like 99 We're cents. looking for something different here. Yeah, use those and just <laughs> slice them in half and throw them in there. <laughs> oh, well, we'll do that later. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to need six green onions and slice them up. I always slice them on diagonal because it looks really pretty. Along with the curly cheese. Along with the curly cheese, yeah. <laughs> then you'll need a half a pack of frozen peas that you've thawed out. That's about eight ounces because they come in 16-ounce bags. And you thaw them out just by putting them in cold water in the sink in a sieve. You know, just run the water over it and it'll thaw out in a minute. And that's really all there is to the salad. Now here's the good part. This is the dressing. You're going to need half a pound of bacon. And right now, you can get your web box. Get I think I heard 16 people out there scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all of them were doctors. We didn't say it was going to be pretty. We said it was good. <laughs> it was good. This Not is everything is low fat. I'm tired of it. <laughs> but right now, they have Genio turkey bacon on sale. You can get your web box. Hey. So, you know, you can use that, and that's a lot lower in fat. Yes, so use that, and then just after you fry it, like you normally fry bacon until it just starts to get crispy, then you crumble it up into bite-sized chunkies. And that one you can cut. I won't, the police won't come after you for that one. <laughs> then you'll need half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And you mm -hmm. can use that stuff mm. in the green can that we all know about, but please don't do it at my house. Use real Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano, imported from Italy. That's the, that's the thing. That's why it tastes so good. That's why it tastes so yeah, good. That I other know. stuff tastes you go like that extra stuff. I something know. else. I don't know what it tastes like. What was like the name of it? Parmigiano Art. Reggiano. You'll oh. see it in the store. And it's a little bit more money, but it's worth it. The flavor is so much better. There you go. Then you'll need a half a cup of mayonnaise. I know this is scaring everybody out there. The mayonnaise, the bacon, the Parmesan cheese, but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> half a cup of mayonnaise. And Best Foods Mayonnaise, you can get your web bucks right now, too. You can get 50 cents in web bucks if you use that. So that's hey, this good. is good for my wallet, too, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Not good for your waistline, but good for your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that means that's less money I have to give to the little lady, right? Right. <laughs> then you'll need the juice of half a lemon and a little salt and pepper, just to your taste, however you like it. Be careful on the salt, because remember, we've got the Parmesan cheese, which is salty, and the bacon, which is salty. So you don't want to go too overboard on that. And then all you have to do is mix your um, crumbled up bacon, your Parmesan cheese, your mayonnaise, your lemon, and your salt and pepper into a dressing. And then right at the last minute, toss it with all the other stuff, the romaine lettuce, the tomatoes, the green onions, and the frozen peas. Toss all that stuff together in a big bowl. And then I top it with a, um, a little extra Parmesan cheese. Mm. Just grate it right <laughs> over the top of the table. Oh. And you remember what it was like. Heaven. Yeah, it was heaven. Mm. I think you ate about half that salad, didn't you? Mm. I made enough for 20 it people. Wasn't me. <laughs> And we chowed down on that. It was so good. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so there's our That's stuff. why we bring these recipes here. Because I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> I wasn't the only one. I wasn't the only one. There was a lot of people there, and, and that thing disappeared. Yeah. I mean, it was such a change. Something totally different that people don't have every day. And it's basic ingredients Ever. you normally have in your house. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a salad <laughs> like that. You know, it's nothing exotic. You always have that stuff in your house. So it's pretty simple to do. And throw it together at the last minute. There's mm -hmm. nothing too involved about it. Now, this is where we're getting into the cheating part. So you make this salad and everybody thinks you're fabulous, right? So now we're going to do this other chicken parmesan. This is the easy chicken parmesan. And they're going to think this is delicious too. But since they've already had that salad, they're going to think you made all this from scratch too. They'll never you're kidding. No, they'll never you're know kidding. the difference. You're kidding. You're not. Oh, boy. Okay. So what you got to do is right now you can get your... Um, Right now, Tyson patties are, you can get a dollar in web bucks. Okay, we have a caller, so let's bring on the caller. Hello. Good morning, caller. You're on the air with, now you're cooking. <laughs> Good morning. Good hi. morning. Hi yes. there. Uh, hi. How, uh, how about the bud of a flower for capers? For cakes to decorate cakes? No, capers. No, no, no. Remember, oh, we, put capers. No, oh, okay. we put the question out there. What okay. are ca capers? Capers are the bud of a flower. Can you name the flower? Ooh, it's a, it's a trailing flower, a little yellow-orange. Like a trumpet. 
This is a lot closer than I would have ever come. <laughs> right I here. love I it. I thought they came in a pot or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's very close to the, the pickled bud of a nasturtium flower. Nasturtium, right. nasturtium. That's the, you could have given me 12 names and I would have picked out nasturtium. Cause yep. that, that's the name of it. Yes. Very good. Thank you for calling in. Hey, oh, what what's your name, hon? Irene. Irene. And how come you know so much about capers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I'm in England and the, you, instead of getting this horrible pickle sauce with fish, you get caper sauce. Yep, I've had, um, what's really good with caper sauce is orange roughy. That's a very yes, good one. Yes, yes. Any light fish like that is great with capers. Oh, I, I can't think of eating fish without having Oh, right, capers. and sea bass. Do you like sea bass? I love it all. Oh, yes. sea bass with caper and lemon butter sauce? Yes. Yes, that's the way to go. Yes. Ah, you're cooking. Uh -huh. yes. so, do, so do I get my jar of, of capers? We sure will. Sure. Absolutely. Come. You, well, are you a member of the... Uh, of, of the course shopping? I am, of course Of I course. Am. Well, you're speaking to number 1605, so <laughs> 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 this is 1605. Okay, so somebody write down her number. Well, all we're going to do is, since she comes down here, the next time she comes, she'll pick up her jar of capers. Okay. okay with my, her my, my number? You want my number? Yeah. Sure. Sure. 2512. 9512. No, 25. Oh. 2512. All right, we've got it. it. Your number is 2512. <laughs> okay, so you can just tell them that at the front desk. <laughs> and right, I'm looking forward to it. There'll be a jar right. of papers with your name on it. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye, Irene. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks, Irene. thank you for the program. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Keep cooking. We do appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen, so much. And if you'd like to participate in the questions and the comments here for Mr. Lee, one of the best chefs in town, give us a call at 221-PATE, P-A-T-E. Now, um, we're going to take a little brief intermi intermission, identify the station. You're listening to KSHP AM 1400 North Las Vegas. And when this you come back, chicken parmesan, the oh, easy way. I'm telling you, and he's got it so simple that you can stop at the store, you can print out your web bucks, stop at the store, whip this up, and not even break a sweat. An hour later, you're done. Oh, man. Okay, so... Get those pencils and papers out or drop a tape in, and we are going to be right back after this. Dear Jim, I just wanted to tell you the things I love so much about you. Like your pasty white belly and how it fits in those tight shirts that my friends think you shouldn't be wearing. I love how you do that thing where you mash four slices of bread into a massive ball of dough and stuff it in your mouth. That's so adorable. And what about when you tell those same jokes from reruns that you've seen over and over again? They make me laugh every single time. Other guys play sports or go running or do something outside, but not you. You're different. Guys, rest assured you will never in your life meet a girl like this. P.S. I can't wait until we cuddle in front of pro wrestling all day this Saturday. I hear it's a steel cage Texas death match. Get some exercise. Get out. Get out. A public service message brought to you by the Ad Council and the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. Hello, this is Dave from the Dave Matthews Band for Rad. When you go out and party, get drunk, then drive, you're not only loaded, you're a loaded weapon. When you celebrate, designate. Choose a designated driver. Remember, music lives and so should you. and Screwballs are giving you a chance to win $10,000 in cash. During the 1998 Denver Bronco football season, Screwballs, of course, is your home for Denver Bronco football, located at 2460 West Warm Springs near the Las Vegas Strip. All you've got to do to win ten grand is register to win at Screwballs. Go there prior to every Denver Bronco football game, predict the halftime and final score of that week's game, and you could win $10,000 in cash. We will be broadcasting live one hour prior to every Denver Bronco football game here on AM 1400. Go to Screwballs, watch the game, and win $10,000. Screwballs will have great prizes every week, plus a free halftime buffet. Your home for the Denver Broncos is Screwballs, located at 2460 West Warm Springs near the Las Vegas Strip. 
Go there. Register to win $10,000 in cash, courtesy of Screwballs and AM1400. Don't miss your chance to shop and save on the radio. Weekday mornings from 7 till 9, afternoons from 3 to 5 on AM1400, KSHP North Las Vegas. the effort to bring you news you can use, now you're cooking. <laughs> want you to discover pages of Eating Well magazine, primary source of health and nutrition news featured on Now You're Cooking with Mr. Lee. Eating Well magazine is available to advise, educate, and guide you through the maze of food claims and chaos. You'll love the health information, articles, and wonderful recipes, along with its balance of imagination, good taste, and sound nutrition. Ladies and gentlemen, discover Eating Well magazine by cover by calling 1-800-678-0541. 1-800-678-0541. Eatingwell.com. That's eatingwell.com. <laughs> Now, this is eating well. I don't know if it's eating healthy, and they probably wouldn't approve of this, but... You hear this noise? <laughs> well, I've got Tim <laughs> You hear that noise? Madonna is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> We've been saying that for a long time. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds like she's got that omelet almost done. And I'm yeah. trying to direct you to bring your mic closer, please. Thank you. All right, everybody. We're going to get back to Now You're Cooking with Mr. Lee, brought to you by Eating Well Magazine and ValuePage.com. Easy chicken parmigiana. Yeah. I can't wait. Can't wait to have it. And it's so easy. Anybody can do oh, this. Okay. If you don't know how to cook, this is the thing for you. Because right now, you can go to any supermarket that's on the value page and oh. get Tyson patties already done for a dollar in web bucks. You get a dollar in web bucks back. That's Cluck pretty, it. Cluck it, baby. That's pretty darn good. And you can get any ragu... Um, chunky garden style pasta sauce and get 50 cents in web bucks so that's pretty darn cool too that way you don't have to go through all the trouble of making your own marinara sauce and frying up the patties and all that stuff you know it's all done for you so here's what you do you take six tyson patties and put one jar of ragu over the top cover it in half a cup or so of shredded mozzarella cheese and you can already buy that stuff shredded you don't even have to do that yourself if you're in a hurry and then take a half a cup of parmesan cheese and put that over top of that mm. And I always serve it with little red pepper flakes because I like to get a little hot and spicy, but you don't have to if you don't like the hot <laughs> stuff. And then you pop it in your oven, put this all in a great big baking dish, pop it in your oven and cook it for 400 covered for about an hour. Could I want to tell easier. you something. When I first found this value page mm -hmm. on the internet, I bought those Tyson patties. And that was something else I had never tried before because I always thought they were like those you know, uh, ground up and compressed, and formed, and you know, fried. the worst word you could ever put on them, any package in the, the store. The worst food known to man. Is the word formed. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> Keep it away from me. So I thought, Even well, fast food places are stopping but it was a dollar off. So I thought, you know, Give well, I'll shot. try something. And I want to tell you something. They're fabulous. They are. They're really good. They are so good. I was so surprised. There's no surprises when you bite into them. No. They're all chicken. They taste like chicken. Oh. What a concept. I know. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> now, this is the part where you can do this too, and it all goes in together. This is so easy. So you get your chicken parmesan in, you know, you get your patties and your sauce and your cheeses over the top, cover it, pop it in the oven at 400. Then, while that's starting to cook, you get your garlic bread going. Now get you one of those big loaves that are like 99 cents at the store, right? Get one of those big loaves and slice it in half the long way. So you've got two great big long things. Now you're going to make a paste, and this is what you're going to spread on the bread to make mm. garlic bread. And I use four cloves of crushed garlic, and I crush it up with a little salt, because the salt, yeah, because the salt kind of makes the garlic dissolve a little bit. And about six tablespoons of olive oil and six tablespoons of butter. Now remember, this is for a whole loaf of bread, so that sounds like a lot, but it's for a whole loaf of bread and then a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. If you must, you can use the dried, but I prefer the fresh because it's just much better. And then um, you take that, and you mush it all together, and you get like this really good gooey paste going. 
and then you spread it all over the bread. And sprinkle it with a little freshly ground pepper, and if you like, you can put some Parmesan cheese, maybe some other herbs if you like basil or if you like oregano, something like that, you can sprinkle that on top. So now that'll take you probably 15, 20 minutes. So then you just time it. So the last 15 minutes your chicken parmesan is cooking, you pop that in the oven right along with it. So you don't even have to dirty another pan or anything else. Just pop it in there in some aluminum foil and it'll crisp up and it'll be so good because all that oil and butter is going to melt into the bread and you've got the nice brown crust on top from the cheese and the garlic. And, and you know, I can just imagine it sitting alongside that salad that you just got done making. Oh yeah, and <laughs> dipping up the sauce when you're done in the salad, it. right? I can't stand it. So yeah, that's that, that's what we eat all the time. That's why we have to go to the gym all the time. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise we're going to weigh 500 pounds. Oh, you better work. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, you know, the great thing is all this stuff is on sale. So do it this week and you don't even have to worry about your meals for the week. You know, that is tremendous. That is great. I've got web bucks in my purse right now. Let's go shopping. <laughs> you know, Let's because you don't have to use them right away. You can, I mean, they yeah, give they you around, like months. Yeah, they hang around know? for a long time. And you don't have to use them on the same product that you just bought. You They're good for, as cash the next trip to the store. For anything you want. It's a good thing, yeah, guys. it's a very good thing. <laughs> so, all right, now we've Could got... Could I have some more Valapolicella spider? Um, okay. Thank you. It is uh, a 24-hour town. Uh, here you go. <laughs> That's why I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, delicious right. with that garlic bread. Here, give, oh, me, a, my here, God. give me a finger, too. Uh, that, <laughs> you know. Use your own finger. Um, here, pull my finger. <laughs> but don't put it in the blender. <laughs> yeah, don't put it. <laughs> so we've got Talk our... Talk about a mixer. We've got our appetizers. We've got that great salad. We've got our chicken parmesan. We've got our garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Now what do we need? We need dessert. More. We need more of all that. So, okay, we've eaten all that. We feel, our, we feel like big pigs now. So now it's time for dessert, right? So you're not going to want something huge and heavy. You don't want to go with a great big fat. Not after these no, three pounds of cheese and a half of... <laughs> no, not after all the cheese and the bread and the bacon and, you know. <laughs> so you're going to want some kind of light for dessert. But you still want to always serve dessert to your friends just to appreciate them being there. So what I would say you should do is you can buy these or you can make these. It's They're so good now to buy buy an either an angel food cake mm -hmm. or a pound cake. Mm -hmm. I like both of those. So, um, and then you want to top it with something light, like berries. Right now, berries are so good because it's the end of summer and everything is in season. Now, wait a minute. Which berries? Berries. Uh, berries. And do you mean like off the tree in the yard I wish I had? Yeah, those <laughs> berries. Um, like you could use strawberries because we had some fabulous strawberries and just slice them up and you can macerate them if you want um, and make a sauce. Please, I'd rather be in private. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's not what you said. <laughs> All it macerate is like marinade. Is when you do fruit, you macerate. When you do meat, you marinate. To macerate them, just pour a little sugar over the top and let them set for 15 or 20 minutes in the refrigerator, and they'll form a sauce of their own. Then you just stir them <laughs> up, and you can spoon that over your like your angel food cake. Wouldn't that be good? Or over your pound cake. And people think they have a special dessert when all you did is open up a package and serve them that. Or you can use blueberries, or you can use raspberries, okay, or blackberries. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Blackberries. Do a combination. Mm. Yeah. How about some mint? Yeah, a little some mint. Some mint sprigs on little there. Little mint sprinkles For on color. there. For color. That would be good. <laughs> Don't forget, we're festive. <laughs> we're festive. And you can top it all with a little powdered sugar. You know oh, how to do that. You yeah. take powdered sugar and put it in the yeah. sieve, and then just sort of tap the side of the sieve, and it makes a real pretty pattern okay. up top. It still looks naked without whipped cream. Doesn't everything? <laughs> naked whipped cream, they go hand in hand. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. You know, you, f you still feel like you're being cheated. So what's your answer to the whipped cream problem? Okay, you can buy that stuff in the can if you want. But if you want to get a little more festive, because we know how festive we are, <laughs> take, <laughs> make whipped cream. I'm starting to. <laughs> take whipped cream. This is all you've got to do is take one pint of whipped cream, or one pint of heavy cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla, or you could use cognac, you could use armagnac, you could use brandy, mm. you could use any of those things. Just put any kind of, you could use almond flavoring. I did that two, three years ago. You did what? You, would you put almond flavoring all over it? What? Uh, almond flavoring and whipped cream, yeah. You were oh, you there. Did? You liked it. Believe oh, me, you liked it. never admit to it, <laughs> He liked it. I must have been over my half beer. Hey, I've got a question <laughs> for the audience. Has anybody out there ever tried that light whipped cream that comes in, you know, the aerosol can? I tried that. 
It's okay. You've tried the light? I'm just not crazy about that aerosol can whipped cream. That kind of scares me. It's like that cheese in a can. That scares me too. I don't know what it is, but it's not real food. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that comes out. Anything that comes out like that is just very scary you know, to me. <laughs> <laughs> the same color as your hair. Right. <laughs> I got a question. Which color? <laughs> if you were to come up with your own food, what would it be? Uh, hmm. Edible hair color. Edible hair color. <laughs> Edible hair <laughs> not color. Not only it looks good, but make sure. <laughs> it would probably have to be something that involved garlic and fish. Mm. I know it would involve garlic and fish. That would be my favorite thing because I love. Well, I guess shrimp scampi would probably be right at the top of my list <laughs> with garlic bread on the side and a Caesar salad. I'm just so tired of the same old food, you know? I mean, there's just different ways to make it, right? I think yeah. that. I'm hoping that. I mean, when I was a kid, I looked forward to eating. But then uh, I got. Now you've eaten everything. As I got older, I've eaten everything. <laughs> just we need put a it secret in front recipe for spider, everybody. Just Call put in. It in. We need a secret recipe. Well, a new dish. You got a new one yesterday. Addy called in and gave you the recipe for an avocado shake. I bet you haven't eaten that. That's true. That's we need Addy to come down but here and make it. But it's still avocado, works. right? Yeah. It's something new. I don't know. Let's go to the rainforest. Maybe we can find something new in the rainforest. Oh, yeah. Some poisonous food. <laughs> well, poisonous. it would be new. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about coming with anything new again. We'll just name it uh, Kovocic leave or <laughs> Kovokian leave. All right, everybody. We're going to take a little break. You're listening to Now You're Cooking. I'm Lou Angel, sitting alongside Master Chef Extraordinaire, Mr. Lee. Chef Lee is here to take your calls. 221 Pate, P A T E. It feels so good. Hello, this is Brian. And I'm Richard, and we're the band Filter. And we're here for Rad, recording artists against drunk driving. Uh, we like to put down a few as much as the next guy, but there's a couple of things we won't do after we've had too many. And one of them is we won't get in the car and drive. Choose a designated driver if one is available. Remember, music lives, and so should you. Hi, this is Rod Douglas inviting you to join Larry Ingle and myself every Sunday morning from 7 to 9 a.m. for the Sound of the City. News, information, interesting features, and of course, your calls. Every Sunday morning from 7 to 9 a.m. right here on AM 1400 KSHP North Las Vegas. Get the latest sports information just prior to kickoff every weekend with the Weekend Sports Page, hosted by Dave Arnone. Dave will be broadcasting live every Saturday and Sunday morning, live from the Wild Wild West Sportsbook, located on Tropicana near I-15. Go on down, see Dave, make your bets, and check out the Wild Wild West. They don't call it the best little casino in Las Vegas for nothing. Broadcasting live, the Weekend Sports Page, every Saturday and Sunday morning from 8 to 9 a.m. at the Wild Wild West. Welcome back to Now You're Cooking with Lou Angel and Master Chef Mr. Lee. We're here to take your calls, want to hear your comments, your questions, want to hear about that secret ingredient you've been holding on to all those years. 221 P A T E 221 Pate. We'd like to thank Eating Well Magazine for sponsoring the show. They are our primary source of health and nutrition news featured during the show. And also valuepage.com, V-A-L-U-P-A-G-E.com. You know, it's money just waiting to be printed when you print out Value Page. You'd enter your zip code. It brings up Lucky's. Price Right and Smith's, the three stores they're associated with here in town. You print out the pages. When you buy anything on those pages, the checker scans the barcode and the web bucks come already printed out. All right, everybody, looking forward to your web buck stories. I'm, I know this is new, but as you start to use them, I need you to call the show and turn everybody on to this 
printing press at your fingertips. It's just as easy as using one of those cards they give you. It's better because there's no personal information that they get from you. Right. They, I mean, you don't get tracked or anything. It's wonderful. <laughs> this is right up my alley. And if you don't have a computer, give me a call. That's right. That's right. Spider-Man can build a computer system customized to your needs. And that number, 798-9600. Eastman Computer, 798-9600. If you need any kind of troubleshooting, done. 798-9600, talk directly to Spider, and he will fix your computer or set you up with one. Now, back to Now You're Cooking. Mr. Lee, let's do it again, baby. Ooh, let's get that whipped cream whipping. Oh! So, remember now, we've got our angel food cake or our pound cake, whatever you can get, whatever you like, and you top it with either strawberries or blueberries or raspberries or blackberries, you know, or a mix of mm -hmm. all those things. Of course, if you're going to buy raspberries, you need to take out a second loan on the house. But anyway. <laughs> Don't forget that credit card. Don't forget that credit card. I hope you have a big limit. So now for our whipped cream, we're going to use a pint of heavy cream, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla or cognac or almond extract or whatever flavoring you like. I like those little flavorings. Usually vanilla is good. And then you just whip it until you're in stiff peaks. That almost sounds erotic, doesn't it? Wait a minute. It sounds like a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to <laughs> Stiff Peaks. <laughs> the show about a wayward chef. <laughs> Who likes to whip. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't stop beating. <laughs> he was a beaten man. He was a oh, beaten man. stop, stop. <laughs> Mr. Lee, I got a problem with one thing. What's that? That heavy cream. Come on. Well, what else can you use? Uh, there aren't many substitutions. My arteries are hardening as the clock sticking by. You can leave it out. They say you can use things like yogurt, but that doesn't work for me. If it works for you, knock yourself out. But for me, it's heavy cream or nothing, and just do it once in a while and make it a treat. Or leave it off altogether. If you just do the angel food cake with berries, that's a great dessert. What about all, you know, I, I wanted to ask you about heavy cream, milk, skim milk, you know, it's so confusing. Is there a bottom line? I mean, when I, I'm so used to getting going the, for the 2% because I thought that had less fat. Well, now I find out <laughs> that they scam me again. Yeah, they just, they lied to us again so that we would feel, not feel guilty is what they did. Because oh, the only milk that this. is fat free is skim milk. Or buttermilk is really low in fat too, but you can't really drink buttermilk over your cereal or anything like that. So skim milk is the only one if you want to go for fat free. 2% milk is better than whole milk, but not by a lot. The problem is they do it by weight, not by volume. So you think it's only 2% by volume when actually it's 2% by weight, and the fat weighs a lot more than the regular milk. So you're not doing yourself a huge benefit. Bottom line is that what we are thinking is happening is really not what's going on. Right. That's, you know, everything in the whole world is non-fat. So why are we all fat? Everywhere you go, everything is non-fat, low-fat, light. Because you have to eat more of it. Now. Yeah, and they the other the other <laughs> scam that they perpetrated Easy upon for us you to say. is we were talking about this the other day. Is when you see things that say no fat and it say it's cookies or it's ice cream and it says low fat or no fat. What they do is they add extra sugar to compensate for the lack of fat in the product. So you think you're getting a really good product because it says low fat, but in actuality, what you're getting is something with a lot more sugar and a lot more calories than the original product. Yes. And who knows what other ingredients they add, you know, the oh, speaking all, of all those things you can't pronounce. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. That's my policy. Hey, I like that. I can pronounce Olestra. And all I know is that that is a topic that really has been pushed underground. Talk about a cover-up. What I about the Olestra cover-up? I went to a party. Um, this was for my old hairdresser. This was a few weeks, a mm, few months ago, I guess now. And she had the chips with the Olestra, the wow chips yeah and she had the regular chips and I was talking to a group of people there and everyone who had tried the chips previously had gotten sick to their stomach she told she warned people at the door we have the chips with no fat if you want them but they make me sick and make everyone else here sick uh, that's all I've heard about this thing I'd like to hear from the audience if you've tried the Wow chips the Olestra chips I need some feedback 221 7283 would like your take on the Olestra scam. And what do you think about 2% low fat milk? Isn't it time we started finding out what this stuff is really about? 221 Pate. It's all about 7283. It's all well, about money. 
they've got, you know... It's the printers that make the money. I don't hear they anybody print else. I listen labels. to talk radio, and I don't hear anybody else out there bitching about this stuff. I don't like the fact that it makes people sick, but I'm wondering, are these just the people that get the press, or are there some people out there that are happy with it? There has to be a test market. That's what Las Vegas no, is famous for. At any for. cost. Las Vegas is famous for being a test market. Everybody comes here. They love to use us. Yeah, because they know they can hit the entire world. Well, because we're so transient. <laughs> yeah. Let's we'll see if it spreads. <laughs> well, they tried to kill us. Okay, everybody. If you want to know how much fat is actually in your milk, this is what you're going to get. In a glass of whole milk, you're going to get 8.2 grams of fat, which is about two pats of butter. So every time you drink a glass of milk, you're consuming two tablespoons of butter. Okay. I mean, as long as we know. As long as you know. If that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. If you get 2%, it's 4.7 grams of fat, so you're getting like a tablespoon and a quarter of butter. Okay. So you're not really saving that much. If you get 1% milk, it's about three quarters of a tablespoon. It's 2.6 grams of fat. And if you get skim milk, it's insignificant. It's 0.4 grams of fat. It is insignificant. <laughs> Compared to the... <laughs> not on my milk. list. Compared Never has like, been. I don't like butter. I don't like uh, watered down milk. Then fatten up. Remember what milk was made for, it's made to make a little calf into a huge cow within a year. If that's what you want to be, then have whole milk. <laughs> we got the recipe. I think I'm already there. Okay, one more question before we sign off until tomorrow. Cooking in iron skillets. Now, I have always heard, you know, Grandma always had that big, I mean, I really seriously mean this, my grandma, my mom. Everybody cooked in that big, the rot big cast iron skillet. <laughs> and now we find out that rust isn't good for you. That's right. Well, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> but if you season it well, you won't get rusty. Okay. Give me some. Give me some tips on the cast iron skillet because it really is good for getting some nutrition. Okay. Iron. You will get iron from it. Okay. Not a huge amount, but you'll get some. And all you have to do, if you get a, a brand new cast iron skillet, you go to the store today, get a cast iron skillet. What you need to do is take it and put some, I use Crisco because it's the best thing for seasoning a pot. Oh, put it okay. in there and rub it all around, uh -huh. stick it in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes, then turn off the oven and just leave it. Then come back after it's cooled down later on, do the same process again. You should have a pretty well seasoned skillet at that point, which means all the little pores and stuff are filled with oil. Then you just wipe it out with a paper towel. Now don't ever put soap in it again. Don't ever scrub it again. Really? What you do is just scrape ah, it with a spatula and get the chunks off. And if anything starts to stick, just do one of those reseasoning processes again. Oh, Mr. Lee, every day is a cornucopia of delightful information. Oh, by I the way, you do the same thing for a walk. Basically the same thing for a walk. Because you don't want a walk that's non-stick. The whole point of a walk. Both kinds of walks? The electric and the... Don't even get me started on an electric oh, walk. There's no... Forget I said that. There's no use for that in your kitchen. Get a real walk because the thing is you want the hot spot at the bottom so you can make the saute immediately. All you know, right, everybody. Push it to the side when it's Straight done. Straight from Mr. Lee's Kitchen. We're broadcasting every day, every weekday at 9 a.m. till 10, right after the radio shopping show. We really want to thank you for sticking with us. We're looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. So for now, you're cooking with Mr. Lee. This is Lou Angel alongside Chef Lee, That's waiting me. to take your calls tomorrow morning. All right. I hope we made you hungry. And you got me starving. Don't forget that salad and time. that chicken parmesan. And I think we should just have one more glass of wine before the morning's over. Pour away, spider. Okay, you never have to ask me okay, twice. Okay, what will it be this morning? How about uh, some bel Policella? Oh, you oh. got it. Oh, good choice, good choice. Mmm. It goes great with oh. all this Italian. Let me just, this garlic bread is... Oh. Mm -hmm. No one's going to talk to us the rest of the day, but who cares? <laughs> it's all right with we me. Reek. Okay, everybody, reminding you to kiss the cook in your life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Place to shop and save in Las Vegas is K Shop, AM 1400, KSHP, North Las Vegas.